The atom is the basic building block of everything. Atom means uncuttable. So when they first came up with the term uh, atom, they were sort of thinking that if you take something, anything, and you cut it and cut it and cut it into the smallest bits, when you get to the point where you can't separate it or cut it anymore, well, that's an atom. Well, we actually now know that atoms can actually be cut. There is subatomic particles. There's three types of subatomic particles. So we have in the centre of an atom, we've got this thing called the nucleus. And it's got two types of subatomic particles. I'll just draw them first of all. We have got this thing here called a proton. And we have a neutron. Now, to complete our uh, atom, we have a third type of subatomic particle called an electron that orbits around the outside of the nucleus. One of the coolest things I think about atoms is that this space in between the nucleus and where the electrons are is nothing. It's space. It's no, there's no matter. Electrons are very, very small and they buzz around the outside of the protons and neutrons or the nucleus in a cloud. Sometimes we call it a shell, but it's really a cloud. This is not solid, okay? This is just an orbit, but it's more of a zigzaggy cloud. And in between, there's nothing. The nucleus is actually really quite small. It's a very, very large gap of nothing, and then the very tiny electrons buzzing around the outside, and that is the atom. Different atoms for different elements have different numbers of protons and neutrons and electrons, and we're going to have a look at that in some detail now.